New at 5.30, Governor Ron DeSantis, a devout Trump supporter, is now using the riots at the U.S. Capitol to spur approval of his bill targeting violent demonstrations. Governor DeSantis says that rioting will not be tolerated in the Sunshine State. His opponents, however, are telling our Capitol reporter for Saunders tonight that this is nothing more than political bluster. After an afternoon of chaos. That's right. We own it. We own you. DeSantis now trying to capitalize off the terror. But I don't care what banner you're flying. Uh, if you're engaging in that conduct, we're going to hold you accountable. Touting a bill he helped craft aimed at curtailing it, he says. I hope maybe now we'll get even more support uh, for my legislation uh, because it's something that needs to be done. The policy with versions in the Florida House and Senate limits a city's ability to redirect funds from police to social programs, makes it a felony to destroy any memorial, and upgrades penalties for illegal actions during riots like assaulting another person. The governor announced the idea last year at the height of the Black Lives Matter protests, which were mostly nonviolent. Democrats have railed on the policy since, worried it'll discourage people of color from peacefully protesting. And it's not going to make any one of us more safe. Rep Ana Eskamani calling the legislation a joke and chalking up the governor's renewed push as an attempt to rewrite history. Governor DeSantis has been using this legislation as a political tool that has now been seen as inconvenient. So he's using um, the the uh, terrorist attacks in Washington, D.C. as as his beard. It'll be a hard bill for Democrats to fight. Not only did they lose seats in 2020, the policy has the support of GOP leadership and other prominent members of Florida's majority party. At the Capitol, for Saunders, ABC Action News.